Uh, this first map we're going to look at is called High Rise. You see it here. Uh, do a fly around of it. It's a, it really is a, a brand new style of Call of Duty map for us for, for Modern Warfare 2. It's, it's, a, it's up high. You can actually fall off all these catwalks. You can go around on these catwalks and jump around and kind of parkour style, get up to some really cool sniper positions. Oh yeah, that, I mean that's my favorite part about High Rise and, and the level design uh, philosophy in general for Modern Warfare 2 is there's a lot of vertical gameplay. There's a lot of areas that you can get to, get a good sniper position like Joel said, or, or cover a dom point or uh, capture the flag point. Uh, so you really have to look everywhere. It's not just you know guys on your playing field. There might be a guy up on that scaffolding or a guy on the helipad. Uh, you, you have to check every corner, every angle. Uh, it really adds a whole new dynamic to the multiplayer. Come under the Kriegler Krigler's our art director. You're going to see his name all over the place. We just have fun with that. But uh, you know, looking at this map, we're we're scooping into Charlie. Uh, Charlie. So make note that there's a skylight above. So mm. the whole point of uh, some of these kill streaks we get, like predator drones, uh, being able to, to fly in a wire or a, a guided missile down on this point. You you need to be in cover as as the opposing team fighting against it. If you're using it, you're going to want to wire guide or or guide these things through these windows and try to get into these positions. There's a great spot that we'll see in a second that you can take refuge in uh, underneath the end map. There's a big, there's a long tunnel that goes from one end to the other, and yeah. you can kind of take cover. Here it is. Yeah, here it is. This allows you to tra traverse the entire map without ever exposing yourself to sniper fire or you know all the firefight that's going up above you. It's really great because it cuts all the way from one office building to the other, and you can actually come up underneath the helipad in the center. Uh, this staircase goes up straight to B point. So if you're playing Dom, B will be right here. Uh, and this is by far the hardest, hardest position to, to take. I mean, if you play Call of Duty 4 a lot, you know B is always that one that everybody's fighting for constantly throughout the entire match. Because this one, I mean, there's so many ways to get to it, so many angles to shoot it from. It's completely open to kill streak reward fire. Yeah, I mean, one thing when you're trying to do a domination map, you definitely want to, especially in this game, this time around, with all the stuff that we've added, you really want to lay down a perimeter around those points and set up before. So you don't want to just run into the flag and sit on it. You want to have all your buddies with you, you know, watching the angles, covering the perimeter, making sure you got a secure area, and then going for the, for the grab. Yeah, when you're fighting through this office, like you see all this debris and the windows and all that stuff. When you're fighting through this area, it's always memorable. I mean, the, the environment's so dynamic. Like, copiers are exploding, paper's flying through the air, your visibility changes based on that. I mean, you really have to use the dynamic uh, environment to your advantage when you're fighting through here. I mean, right now you're looking at Alpha Point. Uh, that coffee shop in the back is a great place to use as a cover point. You also see up above here, this catwalk is great to cover. If you're an SMG, assault rifle, cover Alpha from there. You can also get up there with a sniper rifle, cover Bravo, cover Charlie, all, mm -hmm. all from that position. Bring uh, one of the new equipment, uh, pieces of equipment that we've added to the game, tactical insertion, uh, yeah, up to these good. high points. It takes a long time to get to these spots. Bring tactical insertion with you. You can throw down a flare. And when you die, you respawn right where you left that flare. Yeah, this so, is, yeah, it's a great way to, to secure your spot after you've worked so hard to get up there. Yeah, definitely. I mean, this is how you actually get over there. You jump from the helipad to these uh, beams from the crane, jump over that to where the uh, big propane tank is, then run across the uh, beams to get up to that high point. Propane tank's dangerous. Oh, definitely. I mean, very, very volatile environment here. You want to watch out for things like propane tanks, red barrels, stuff like that. Everything's very explosive and treacherous in here. So be really careful if you're running along there. I like to take on um, that spot we just saw. People like to hide up there all the time. I love to shoot that propane tank and blow them up with it. Yeah, situational awareness is everything in multiplayer. So even before something like that explodes, you're going to know. You have to listen to audio and visuals. It's going to hiss. It's going to hiss. Noise. You're going to see a visual haze, just like any time you're looking through gas or uh, high heat. Uh, and if you hear that sound, if you know it's about to explode, you need to get out of there. You know, displace, get to a new cover point, because that thing's going to blow up. And if that blows up, you're gone. You're, you're, you're off the map. You're going off the high rise. Here's the helipad, great vantage point in the middle. But be sure, like we're saying, the environment's treacherous. Take out, sweep out these barrels if you're going to post up up there, and get rid of this this volatile stuff so that you can you know, your enemies can use that against you. So it's in your best interest to clear them out when you take that center point. Definitely. I mean, this is a great overview of the map. I mean, this is a view you're going to get if you're up in the AC-130, if you're controlling a Predator missile, any of those. You see how there's skylights, as Joel pointed out, above the key point. So mm -hmm. you're not completely you know covered when you're down there trying to cap an area.